All right, folks, here we go, and what a miraculous run it has been for this 135-pound woman. She fought for the belt back in the day, didn't get the title, everybody left her for dead. Look at her now. She never believed that she was done. She knew that she would get back, even if everyone around her told her it would be very difficult. She put her head down, she went to work, and she's back now. And she feels like because of that journey, the ups and the downs, the, the, the torment, that she had to go through, being de depressed, not being the champion. All that has built her to be the person that can take the belt tonight. A lot of valuable lessons learned. She's never looked better on the scale. Perhaps that will be an indicator of things to come tonight. So here's the former UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, Misha Tate. And in this second UFC stint, she had visions of making a run at 125 pounds. Her body just didn't respond against Lauren Murphy. It certainly did against Julia Avila late in 2023. A bonus winning performance for Misha Tate that got her back on a championship trajectory. And for me, it's all about the appetite for MMA knowledge and training. At this stage of her career, she is so committed to the cause. She's not prize fighting. She's not fighting for money. She's fighting for further greatness, and that's why she has shown up in another major, major fight here tonight. Now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <clears throat> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Meatball Molly McCann! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. Misha Cupcake Tate! Referee Herb Ready Dean will handle the action Ready. in the octagon. All right, round one of this stand-up only fight is underway. A friendly reminder of the rules set. Not a whole lot of them, but you can't grapple or wrestle at all. And if the fight does hit the canvas, no follow-up strikes permitted on the ground. Nice jab by Tate. Superman punch. It's nice straight right, Lance. It won't take many of those. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh, she landed that shot to the leg. Never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world? Are these two women? She's in every one that one now has her opponent on the ropes. She threw her entire body into that massive uppercut, and she is seeing the rewards of her hard work. Well, she hasn't gotten the finish yet, but it's not for a lack of effort. Several huge uppercuts have landed, and the railing wisdom is she goes right back to it here, I would think. She has to go back to that. Why would she not go back to it? You don't fix something 
that's working. It ain't broken. Don't try to fix it. She is oh! There it is again. Look at that. Tate gets caught by that straight punch. Beautifully landed by the opposition. She is in real trouble. Left hook, right hand. Oh, big left hand. Oh, oh nice combination. Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rock pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find the kill shot. She hurt her very badly. She was not able to find that one shot that would have finished the fight. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. She blocked that punch. Oh, nice uppercut from the champion. Tate going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Nasty cut on her nose. She's oh! Rips the body there. Tate's hook to the body was blocked. Right idea, wrong execution. Five. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round. We will keep an eye on this cut. You see the cut man racing in there. Cut, it looks like it's on the bridge of the nose. He'll try to shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for her here moving forward. Looks like he'll close it up now. All right, back to the stools, and she doesn't appear to be all that discouraged, but now she is dealing with some adversity that she hadn't dealt with prior, courtesy of, the, of those strikes to the nose. Strikes to the nose. Opened up a cut. It really seems to be bothering her. She's a very talented fighter, though. She has all the skills to try and make the adjustment that's going to keep her safe because that's what she has to do. You can take shots, but once you start to get that damn... I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive head kick. And now the jab gets through. Well, she nearly got her out of there with the knockdown in the previous round, and her confidence remains high here, and she's building on that moment. Oh! Gotta keep pressing. She's got her hurt. Gotta look for the finish. Lands the sidekick now. Just misses there with the left. Big shot lands for both guys. Good jab there by the champion. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Man, look at the bruising and the redness starting to appear on the left side of her body there. Not good. Stay aggressive. Big inside kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Just under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing. But she's got to get on the right now. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can pay her opponent for finishing. Big right here. Tate's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Well, DC, some might suggest she's sort of playing with her food here. She has the upper hand, yet not really forcing the issue and trying to get her out of there. You know, she's very patient as a fighter. But when you see someone hurt that many times in one round, you got to go for blood. I know it's against her, it's not her MO to be over aggressive, but right now it seems like it's just a matter of time before this fight is over. Back to the feet now. Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that area. Yeah, I mean, 
you are a, you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so disciplined, who is so sharp. You have got to get on your bicycle. You got to get on the outside. She's just bad, John. Hands lower, John. That's it. That'll do it. Oh my goodness. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 58 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed USC bantamweight champion of the world, Meatball! Oh, you know how excited this makes me. We got a new UFC champion in the...